Hey guys, even here, and this video is gonna be about some bodybuilding drama that is happening right now. So if you like drama, keep watching this video. So we have two top bodybuilders and some bodybuilding legends also getting involved in this. So it basically all started with Blessing of Odibu posting a photo of his leg and then this very famous Instagram bodybuilding page buys and tries reposting it, making a post about it, and then Ian Valier commenting on it saying, or actually asking a question, where's his sweep though? And you guys know that Ian is friends with Nick Walker, who is involved in a big, big drama with Blessing of what he was this past couple of months, so he's jabbing Blessing a little, and Blessing responds, and Blessing responds in a very disrespectful and rude way, which buries Blessing in two ways. So first of all, he is trying to insult Ian, a bodybuilder that only turned pro, never competed at a pro stage, insulting a seven-time Mr. Olympia finisher, Ian Valier, who has a lot of loyal bodybuilding fans. Blessing has a lot of subscribers, a lot of followers, a lot of Instagram followers, he, he's very famous. But let's be honest, those followers, most of them are not there because of bodybuilding. So in bodybuilding, Ian Valier has a lot more fans, a lot more followers, and a lot more credibility, a lot more respect because of his achievements. And yeah, he kind of jabbed him a little by saying, where's his sweep though? But it wasn't as much of an insult as much as Blessing's comment was. So he says, same place as your calves, you salty C word. You can basically read what he wrote. And he says, you're next after I destroyed the brick walker. Hashtag crybaby. So basically he responds to Ian by insulting him, like cursing him. I mean, saying this, this C word. I consider staying neutral and just reporting on what happened here, but I'm gonna take a stand and I'm gonna say what I think, actually, what I think honestly, just from a fan standpoint. And I am a fan of Ian Valier, I don't follow Blessing really, but if you look at it objectively, yeah, Ian started this. Ian started first, he was jabbing Blessing first. But Blessing, he could have responded to this positively, he could have looked at this as just banter, you know, breaking balls, just having fun, you know, he could have responded to this positively, which is probably what Ian expected, I don't think he expected him to call him words, you know, names, uh, I think this is just a little bit over the top from Blessing. And not only that he insulted Ian, that that wasn't nice from him, but he buried himself, you know, Blessing did, in three ways, I just figured out, it's actually, there is a third way. So first of all, he insulted a very achieved and, and very loved bodybuilder, Ian Valier, who is, who, who is real who's really real, I mean, he's 100% real, if you're a fan of him, if you watch him on, on Fuad's podcast, you know that that guy is 100% real, and I can't say the same thing about Blessing, not even close, he's kind of like Kai Green, basically, he, he's fake all the way, he's just acting all the time, you can never really see him being real, he doesn't, I don't know if he can actually be real, because he's always in a role, so by insulting a very successful and very much loved bodybuilder, he buries himself because fans of Ian are not gonna like Blessing, which is happening with me right now, you can notice it, I'm sure it's happening with many people who are fans of Ian. And then, the other way is him not taking this positively and joking about it, and just uh, considering it uh, a joke, nothing too serious, he's showing everybody that he is weak, that he's insecure, by receiving this comment so bad, I mean, uh, taking it so, in, in, a, in a, such a bad way, he's proving to us that he's insecure about his, his looks and what he's gonna bring to the stage. And the third way is basically he is admitting. He's admitting that his uh, legs are bad. He says, same place as your calves. And Ian admits that his calves are bad. He doesn't have good calves. His calves are horrible. And he says, the same place as your calves. But calves are irrelevant, muscle and bodybuilding, basically. Nobody is losing or winning a show because of calves. Everybody knows that. And legs are gonna make you or break you, basically. Back and legs are the most important body parts on the stage, period. So basically, Blessing right here admitted that his legs are weak, that they're bad. So I don't think he intended this, but Blessing did all the burying himself. He destroyed himself right now with this comment. This continues on by a lot of fans, there is 800 comments in the comment section under that photo, and uh, Ian here responded to some, to some fans, some guy, he says, exactly, I'll take me mediocre ass calves over his soft booty and no sweep any day, and then he said, he tags actually, blessing bodybuilder, and he says, do something on stage before you come at the real bodybuilders, stop embarrassing yourself, you clown. 
And then we get involvement from some other bodybuilders, like we have two times Mr. Olympia Classic Music Champion, also Ian Valier's brother-in-law, and Ian is coach of Chris Bumstead, who comments, so he admits he has no sweep, which is basically what happens. Blessing responds to this by saying, Chris Bumstead, I like you to stay out of this. I don't like that, Ian fella. You gotta teach that fool how to pose. And Ian's response is, he can teach me how to pose and you how to train legs. Oh, this is going to be so fun, guys. What he's saying is that even Chris Bumstead, classic physique guy, has better legs than Blessing. And then we have Phil Heath, actually, getting involved in this. Not really involved, but he has a comment. He says, and y'all thought I was bad. This is funny. So, yeah, Phil was, uh, Phil was referred to as a most dramatic bodybuilder of all time. He was involved in so much drama, so many arguments over the years. I mean, he battled with social media uh, hate from a lot of a lot of haters. So he was the first Mr. Olympia in social media era. He was involved in a lot of that stuff. And he says he's not even that bad. <laughs> he's not even as bad as Blessing and Nick and Ian right now. So, yeah, he made his contribution to this post. He, he left a comment as well, which was hilarious. Also, there's a comment from Blessing, and he's talking about uh, the, the posing of Ian. He says, watch this man's posing routine at, at Tampa Pro. Uh, it was embarrassment for the sport of bodybuilding. Dude almost started crying on stage after losing to Hunter, lol. So, <laughs> he is definitely not taking, not taking this easily, not taking this lightly. He's going after Ian. So he's uh, accusing him of having uh, small calves and that he's a horrible poser. He's a embarrassment to the sport. That's what his comment is. And also <laughs> that he almost started crying after losing to Hunter, which is basically true. I think he looked like he was going to cry, but that's not really a bad thing. He's really competitive. He doesn't like to lose. And he really looked bad at that show. Like it was probably his worst ever. So it's true. It's true what he's saying right here. Uh, and his posing, yeah, Ian's posing is not really great. I mean, he doesn't really get involved too much in posing. He just hits the poses, and he knows how to hit the poses well. But his transitions, you know, his posing routine, not really great. Rav Diesel involves next. So he says, I'm confused. I don't follow much. But why are people mad and calling a blessing disrespectful to responding to a disrespectful message? So apparently, Rav Diesel takes the side of blessing. Ian is not staying silent, he's responding to every comment that Ruff Diesel made, uh, and he says, uh, sure, I started it, I did a little poke for fun, as I'm in Nick's camp, this guy blows his wad at almost anything, which I expected, and tries to make it personal. Terence Ruffin replies, so you did this intentionally, to make people dislike Blessing more, okay. And then Ian goes, only Blessing can make people dislike Blessing more, and he is doing a fine job on his own. And he says, I've been baited many times on social media and replied in ways I regretted after and probably lost fans over it. I don't blame the person who baited me. I blame myself for responding with aggression to it. And Ruff asks him, so you're teaching him a lesson by doing the same thing done to you? Ian replies, I'm not teaching him a lesson. I'm not his father. He can learn on his own. As I said from the beginning, I did a small jab on a post that clearly made his legs look terrible. Whether I know he will respond like a twat or not doesn't mean I'm responsible for his response. To which Terence replies, So you knew what you were doing and even knowing when others have done this to you and how it made you feel afterwards. You decided to continue this cycle. For what reason, man? To show people how he would respond it, even though you stated you'd done the same and you regretted it? Okay, dude, that's wild. But y'all are two adults, so have at it. LOL. And the end says... I didn't feel any way, except embarrassment afterwards, which I hope Blessing does too. Maybe I am trying to teach a lesson the more we talk about it. And then we have an involvement from a legend from the 70s. Somebody who competed against Arnold Schwarzenegger was the top bodybuilder back in the day. The best bicep peaks of all time, Robbie Robinson, his official account. Uh, he is actually very old, but he's active and he actually looks great today. Everything he trains and everything, you can check that out if you want. But he says, bodybuilding has a known reputation for put-downs, even to respectful comments. Jealousy plays a huge role. If you cannot comment in a positive and empowering way, say nothing. Work on your weaknesses or self. We all have them. And it is true, everybody has weaknesses, Ian admits it, he has weak calves, and there are other weaknesses that he has, 
if Blessing really wanted to roast Tien in this way, you know, to get back to him, uh, claiming that he has a weak body part, he should have went for the chest, for sure. Ian's chest is very shallow, and he knows that. And that's an important body part, it's not like calves, who cares about calves? He should have went for the chest, but apparently he didn't know that. And also the back. He could have went for the back or for the chest, and that would be a bigger insult for sure, if that's what he wanted. So, Robin Robinson says that, and he is right, like, we shouldn't do that, but then again, there wouldn't be any drama, there wouldn't be any rivalries. I think this is all positive, if we keep it positive, if Blessing kept it positive, but lately, Blessing kind of went really hard after these guys, I mean, he, he has been really insulting, and he seems, he looks salty, like, he looks really insecure, and, and very aggressive at this point, so... I think this is actually starting to look real. I thought it was just jokes, you know, just a way to create drama, but Blessing seems very serious about this. I don't think, I don't think he and it really was, but Blessing seems really angry at this point. Because take a look at this comment. So he says, remind me how much followers you got again. You and Brickwalker combined together with all your sponsors' followers too. And I haven't even stepped on a pro stage, but you're all talking about the boogeyman. Nick, the Boogeyman man, uh, Nick, you should be thanking me as I'm giving you so much exposure. Y'all stupid. Ian wants a bit of clout too, and that's why he can't keep my name out of his damn mouth. So yeah, he went a little bit far, and then this is Ian's response, actually, then this is a good response. Funny, you have eight times my followers, and no one likes your attempt at insulting me. And 300 people liked mine, saying where his sweep... Guess popularity doesn't mean, doesn't make your physique better. Weird. Only to a narcissistic moron like you would your mind go to us caring about them following. I could care less if I had 50 Instagram followers. So that's gonna be the last comment I'm gonna show you today, guys. And uh, whose side do you take? Personally, I'm a fan of Ian, and I, I'm a fan of his, of his personality, I'm saying, because he is real. Like, he's real. He's, he's very honest. And he has a great personality, I mean, it's not boring, it's very interesting. Uh, and uh, Blessing, he, I, I never really got connected to him, I never really fe felt a connection, because he's kind of really fake, and now he seems very angry and insecure, which I like even less. And this is a good point, I mean, Ian really made some really good points here, and you can, you can understand what he's saying, like, you can get where he's coming from. Now he's saying that he has less followers, but more people are liking his comments, because more bodybuilding fans are... Uh, in Ian's following. I mean, Blessing has a lot of fans, but those are just usual people who, who like him because he's funny. He has a lot of funny videos on his Instagram. So Ian made a lot of good points, and this was an interesting drama. I enjoyed reading it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too, especially with the way I presented it to you. If you did, please like this video, and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.